Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 589. I'm realizing the big 600 is showing up very shortly. Um, the topic today, before I jump into my mind doing strange things, is um, permission granted. Now stop lying to yourself. It's time I just brought out the big guns. So I figured after doing a few talks this week about New Year's resolutions and some other stuff too, I thought I'd better let some other stuff come to the surface. And this is thanks to an art conversation with my friend. I'm jumping getting ahead of myself. Let me back up and say, hi, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which leads to the, led to these talks, which I've done for over two years now, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And these daily talks I get up in numbers. That's why it's episode number 589. Now, the topic today, as I said, is permission granted. Now stop lying to yourself. And before I jump into that, permission granted was actually the title I gave to the first few Facebook Lives I did back in 2016 that I got some interesting feedback about. And at lunch today with a dear friend of mine, um, hi Patty, happy birthday again. Um, she gave me some really very useful feedback. And so I'm using t titles today and I might use it again because it's getting time to say this because I'm realizing I need to switch it around. One, because when you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you won't watch. <laughs> but two, it's also about giving yourself permission. So let me just give, explain what I'm talking about. And then I'll explain how we can use it because I don't want to leave you hanging on this. So first of all, I'll just give you a little history lesson. <laughs> Way back at the beginning when I started doing these Facebook Lives, um, they're probably weekly at that point, And it was really the beginning of this unfolding about empowering inspiring women and stuff like that. I did a few talks called Permission Granted, and then the subtitle was kind of like, um, or, the, or the subtext of it was, ladies, if you haven't had a man say to you, and this was the challenge I got into, and I didn't say it right at the time either, but I said it something as badly as this, which is, ladies, if you haven't had a man, sorry, let me preface that. This is after the election. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in the news about women being disrespected after the election of 2016. I'll leave it at that. So I felt the desire to stand up and speak about how, first of all, not all men think that way. Two, that ladies, you deserve permission regardless of who, which man is around you and what men are telling you because they don't tell you the truth, those men. And thirdly, if you hadn't heard it from a man in your life, be it husband, partner, relationship, whatever it was, I was gonna say, consider this permission granted and it upset a lot of people. Fast forward to now because I'm really getting some clarity in hindsight and feedback I got today from my friend Patty. It isn't about me giving permission. This is like, duh, I should have thought about this. This is about you giving yourself permission. And I want to give you some illustrations before I go too deep into this so you know what I mean. I've talked a lot this last, what's today? Today is the 11th, so last 11 days <laughs> about resolutions and intentions and affirmations, and stuff like that. And what I realized in a way was how ridiculously I've been seeing this. Yes, me, the one who's created this um, Rocket 2018, 2019, excuse me, Rocket 2019 playbook, which I'll talk about a bit later too. This thing about affirming what we're doing and intending what we're doing, well, <laughs> there's a whole other level we can play at, which is this, and I'm going to say it for myself first as, as modeling it so you know what I'm talking about, about giving yourself permission. And what I'm saying in this context is, I give, and I'm going to use some real life examples for myself right here. So this is bare naked truth in a way, and also intentions. I give them, I give myself permission to have very high paying clients seek me out this year, and work with me willingly. So do you see how that was switched around? I wasn't saying my intention is to have all those clients. I give myself permission to let those clients find me. Now I'm going to do work towards that. I'm not going to say, okay, I'm going to sit back in my in my room and like fold my arms and just wait for it to happen. No, it's not what I'm talking about that. But it's setting something in motion energetically. So I'll do a couple more so you can see what I mean and then I'll give you some ideas what you can do for yourself. So first of all, and I'm saying this again as a model, so what I'm saying for myself, you can give to yourself as well. I give myself permission to have the most amazing relationship this year that I've been dreaming about forever. Sounds pretty good. You can use these yourself as well, but I'm using this as a way of doing a next level in intention in a way, because I'm taking it apart from my intentions to have this happen. More about, th there's almost something easier 
about saying I give myself permission to have because one of the challenges a lot of people do, you know, I have to do this now, is they lie to themselves, as I said in the title. And what I mean by that is that we have these rules and judgments and lies that we tell about ourselves that limit us from having certain things happen. So, for example, you may be somebody who knows who is or who knows this. I gotta be careful I say this because truth is for a lot of people they don't know this. So hopefully you're watching this, you're aware of it and realize that you maybe have been running some false beliefs about yourself. For example, you may have believed because you didn't have the right education that you can't have a certain job. What if that's not true? Rather than saying, well, the truth is this, how about saying simply this, I give myself permission to have the best job I ever wanted, independent of what I've done before, or something like that. Give yourself permission is a get out of jail free card, energetically. It gets you off the hook for running these um, judgments which really have been like these enclosing boxes that you put around yourself. So the power of permission is very underrated by the way but also very useful because what you can do with it, what you can have with it, is open up your awareness to what's possible. I, I started doing this after I left my friend Paddy at lunchtime and I started running these things about I give myself permission in different areas. I gave a couple of the ones I was talking about. There's actually a few more that have been brewing for me. I tell you the feeling is actually quite something. And I talk about my work a lot about how it's not just about the words, it's the, it's the feeling level, it's the embodiment, the energy of that, that really makes things happen. And what I'm finding for myself, and I hope you will try this on for yourself as well, is when you declare for something in your life, be it relationship, be it money, be it, I mean, I, I give myself permission to receive massive amounts of money this year, more than I've ever seen before. That feels kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. There's nothing about how it's going to happen, nothing about how much it's going to be, and nothing about I must make it result, must make it happen myself. I am allowing something to happen. Now, I'm not saying it must, and I have no proof it will, but the energetic feeling of giving myself permission to have that happen is very freeing. So my invite, invitation for you as your homework assignment is to give yourself permission for this, to give yourself permission for things that you may have held yourself back from. Maybe it's to go travel this year. Maybe you've been feeling like you couldn't go to Italy because you didn't have the schedule availability or the money to go or the place to, or people to know to go over there. And by the way, I have a connection actually. My brother lives in Tuscany in case you're looking to go to Italy. So reach out to me if you're interested in doing that. Um, <laughs> so plug in my brother now, that's kind of fun. So the reminder in this is not to think about the how, but focus on the energetic what. So in this case, if you're, you're, say, you say, so your situation where you maybe you want to go to Italy, but you don't believe you can, well, don't worry about the belief of if you can, just give yourself permission to have it happen. So I give myself permission to travel to Italy this year. Now, that doesn't have any rules in it. It doesn't have any structure like it must be this way, it must be that way, it must be something else. It literally is an internal switch that's shifting. Well, don't be, literally, it's energetically it's a little switch inside that shifts the energy. And I've got some things that I've been sitting on myself that I've been on the, I've been setting up intentions for, I've been writing them out because I'm, I'm working through my own copy of the Rocket 2019 workbook, which I'll, again, I'll put the link in the comments. I have access to it because I created it. <laughs> but I'm looking at, okay, I want to start rephrasing some of those to permission. And if I, so I might go back and, well, I'm, I'm not going to do this edition, but I may go back and revise it and put some permission stuff in the intention piece, which is one of the seven modules in the, in the workbook. There's something very powerful about giving yourself permission because it's not a guidance requirement, it's an opening excuse me, an opening to possibilities. And frankly, if you're someone like me who has been in this work for a while, there's so much to consider and there's so many things about this and beliefs and rules and everything else. And when I hit this um, pocket of awareness early today, again, thanks to my friend Paddy, it really opened up something for me to think about. How much better could it be than to give yourself permission to have the best? How much better could it be to have everything in life work because you can give yourself permission to have an amazing life? There's room to grow. Now, that sounds wonderful. And what I've already discovered, and I think you may discover this too if you do this, is that by giving yourself permission in areas that may not have been as easy as they were before, stuff comes up. And I'm using the word stuff in quotes because it's the judgments and beliefs and rules and constrictions and oaths and vows we may have given or made subconsciously about certain things we can't or won't change or certain things we can't or won't do. 
When you give yourself permission in one of those areas, you tend to find yourself um, opening up the container of those as well. Don't worry. <laughs> if that happens, that's a good thing because that's stuff that's been carrying on for a while. I talked yesterday about um, forgiveness of judgments and, and forgiving of old stuff. And I'm gonna say, if you have that stuff shot for yourself, reach out to me, I'm gonna guide you through it. It's not something that I'm gonna talk about here because that's a separate and deeper work that's not really done very well in, in teaching this way. It's more about one-on-one -on -one work. But I wanna say that the permission granted peace, it's time we claim that for ourselves. You, me, all of us. There's something so profound when we stop lying to ourselves, me included, and talk about things in a way that are um, limiting about what we can have. I've talked before, months ago probably about this, about how we have this habit of telling ourselves rules and lies that are limiting who we are. So we could be thinking going, things are going great, but if you listen to yourself talk, you may notice that you've said things that are totally against what you really want because some programming, some judgment, some rule inside. So when you give yourself permission to have that mystical um, uh, what's the word looking for <laughs> that thing that is an intangible thing because I don't know what it, cause it, what it is for you is different from me by having that understanding you have this recognition that you're basically turning off that self-talk that's been limiting all this time but again as I mentioned sometimes if that stuff's really deep grained it will come to the surface to be dealt with before you can be free but by giving yourself permission you open up that space for it to happen so permission granted is my invitation to you to start giving permission to yourself for things you really want. And also, give yourself permission to let go of things that don't work. You may have been dragging around old pains and wounds or old situations that you have been somehow feeling guilty you should hold on to. I'm inviting you to give yourself permission to let them go. Now the mechanics again are not part of this conversation. These are purely the energetics of shifting the energy and the focus you're dealing with. And I know for sure when you shift the energy, everything else moves into place to support it. How it works is beyond this conversation, it's beyond our understanding, but it does happen the way the universe works. So this is something I recommend for yourself, is to take this homework on, to look at the areas of your life in particular, and I do recommend if you get my um, tw uh, Rocket 2019 playbook, I can remember the title again, so along with the title, which again, I put the link in the comments, you can use, um, it's actually module one. This is the seven modules in it. Seven modules. Yeah, the seven modules. <laughs> I'm trying to write them on the screen. Module one talks about aff affirmations and intentions using a particular structure that, I, that I've set, that I've included. I got it from my, my own journey. But putting permission in front of that, adding permission to it, is going to really turn up the juice and make it much more potent. So your homework, if you get it, if you get my workbook, if you don't, is to look at areas of your life and choose those things you want to change this year and start by giving yourself permission for good things to happen. Whatever word you want to use. But stating something as I mentioned on the lines of, you know, give, I give myself permission to be invited to speak on many stages this year to change, transform lives of massive audiences of women and men who want to change. I, get, I mean, I get goosebumps when I talk about this stuff. So I invite you to try this on for yourself. It's something that doesn't cost anything except maybe your judgments. So that is uh, <laughs> that's a little inspirational talk for you today. This is Friday Talks, so it's the end of the week. I've got weekend ones coming up tomorrow and Sunday, of course, be more casual attire because it's the weekend talks. Um, and again, I'll put a link in the comments for the uh, Rocket 2019 playbook because I think if you think about this and you want to use it, add it to that, it will turbocharge your year. So I appreciate you being with me once again. I do invite you to reach out if you have any questions and also share it out with any people you think should see this. Um, this is my daily talk, 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my personal business page. Excuse me, on my personal Facebook page. It goes to my business page afterwards, and I'll give you the links on that in a moment. And also goes onto YouTube if you're watching it there. So, questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below, and I will respond when I sign off. And practice this, take it on, use it. You might just be surprised. I was, and I do this stuff. <laughs> so with that, thank you for watching. Um, again, replays. This is my Facebook Live on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. You can follow me here, or you can follow my business page or like my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. That's what all these broadcasts live on Facebook. 
At the same time, I put them onto my YouTube channel, which is my name, Barry Selby. You can subscribe to that channel, please. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. All 580 plus of these broadcasts live on that page or in that playlist. And you can listen to them and watch them anytime you want. And thirdly, I have a podcast that I've got these loaded up on slowly but surely. I've got, I'm only got about 40 so far, but more are coming. Um, which is Messages from the Masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to that and also download the audios and listen to them on your phone when you're running around driving, etc. Give yourself a mission. You might be pleasantly surprised by what happens. And again, my playbook will help you, support you in having the most amazing year with that as well. So with that, I invite you to take care of yourself. Again, share this out if you feel like somebody should see this. And if you have any questions, comments, please reach out to me. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on Facebook Live. Take care. Bye.